All right, we're gonna have Jimmy from the Swiski channel reskate my mud skipper tank. Uh, we just saw <laughs> this uh, big stump of wood, and it was just doing nothing in my room. Let's make use of it. So uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Never did a mud skipper tank, let alone work with brackish or I don't know mangroves and stuff. It's gonna be different. Have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna just throw stuff in there and see how it goes. Right on. Yeah. So I'm gonna take everything out first. Okay. Hopefully these are not totally rooted in there. It's a full on brackish tank. I can smell the salt water. There are some guppies in there. So you gotta think about them. See how far these are. Yeah, pretty good roots. That's a pretty good root system. Uh, we went kayaking and we saw a bunch of these mangroves uh, by the bay. Just the way they grow is pretty ridiculous. We're gonna reset. Well, we'll make it flat for now and see where this, uh, how high this root system or the branch or the wood thing sticks up. But also at the same time, give some guppies some room to <laughs> move around. And I really like the character of this side, you know, the back side. But even though, yeah, yeah, let's see what this looks like, like this. And then uh, we'll squirt it with some water to wet it down a little bit. I've just been really itching to aquascape everything lately. Yeah, I like that it slopes yeah. to the right like this. So let's push all this back. Just a lot of different obstacles mm -hmm. dealing with the mudskipper tank. We have some rocks and then we have another piece of wood. Um, I mean, obviously we don't have to use it all, but whatever matches this guy a little bit, maybe this one will work. Let's wet it down a little bit. Kind of have it multifunctional. Because the muskippers, yeah, the muskippers do play. Yeah, they're mostly under the water. They're hardly even in the water. See, this kind of looks like a, that it's a part of it. Yeah, and it just like, ed, edged off and like just eroded away. Mm. All right, so we got mangroves and, and they kind of do look like little palm trees. <laughs> it would be cool if you can like make a mm. planet diagonally. Yeah, <laughs> Let's just give it a try. We could do a crisscross like the freaking in and out sign. I really want to use all the mangroves because it'll be a waste not to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now we got to play with the, the stones. So a lot of these stones I always see the mud skippers use. So yeah, especially this one. Yeah, that's their favorite stone right there. Yeah, so <laughs> this kind of looks, you have more of these same stones? I need another stone though. You gotta have a stone laying around. All right, got some petrified wood here, which I thought it was really neat. And two more stones, I'll probably just use one of them. It's like there's two different type of habitats going on here. Yeah, I like how you're kind of creating different areas. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> Yay or nay? Or let us know in the comments let's, below. Let's put in the muskets. Yeah, let's throw in this. Yep. Yeah. That's up, it's up to them if they like it, right? All right, let's put them in. There they go. Brand new habitat to play in. It's like they moved. All right, here comes the B-roll. 